guys it's Rachel welcome back to my channel and welcome to I feel like at this point it's an annual thing to go through my vinyl collection it seems like I always tend to do it at the end of the summer so I thought I would sit down and I would update you guys on my 2023 vinyl collection so here we go it's never to brag I just love to collect vinyls I love having my favorite albums on vinyls there's something so nostalgic about having a vinyl record and so that's why I love to collect them and yeah this is just my collection and again not to brag but I just want to show you guys so the first one that I have on vinyl is Demi Lovato Dancing with the Devil this was from Urban Outfitters it's the exclusive orange vinyl and so I have not opened this one yet I kind of took a little hiatus from playing vinyl records, but I definitely want to start playing them again. So this is one I'm very excited to listen to on vinyl. This is one I just have never opened because I want to keep it in mint condition, but it's the Friends 25th anniversary commemorative edition and it was only 3,000 copies. I found this randomly in a Barnes & Noble about a year and a half ago maybe. This one is Equals by Ed Sheeran. It's just the standard black and... No, actually, it's white. This one's white. It's a white disc and it is so beautiful. This album sounds really good on vinyl. I love Ed Sheeran on vinyl. There's something just so rich about his voice on vinyl that I love. The next one that I have on vinyl is Walt Disney's The Love Bug. So a little backstory on this is... This is a very vintage vinyl, it's just in a sleeve, but this was pre-enjoyed. I found it at my local record store and I got it. It was $9.99 and I think it was half off at the time. They were having a sale or something, but as a kid, I loved watching Herbie the Love Bug. It was my favorite thing on Disney and so I definitely wanted to have this for nostalgia purposes. Probably never to play, but it was very, very special to see that and so I, I did snag it. Okay, then I have Mr. Ed Sheeran. I have his Plus album on vinyl and then I, oh, this is one of my beloved. This dropped randomly one time. I think it was on Urban Outfitters and I snagged it so quick because Stars Dance by Selena Gomez is one of my all-time favorite albums and I had never seen it come on vinyl and then it came on vinyl and I bought it so fast I remember it absolutely flew off the shelves but it was in my cart and in my home and I say thank you for that next I have Demi the self-titled album and I love this album this album is so nostalgic for me this is also on white this is from urban outfitters oh wait no it's like the it's like black and white and this is one of my all-time i feel most nostalgic albums like i can remember when this album came out this was all i would listen to on repeat and i definitely love this album so much demi's voice is stunning i feel and same with Dancing with the Devil, The Art of Starting Over. That is such an incredible album. When that album came out, I was so fixated on that album. And I'm still... I Every time I listen to it, it feels so brand new to me because the music is just so good. Next, I have Mr. Harry Styles on Fine Line. Look at him. This one is from Target. And I believe... Yeah, it's this one. Um, I definitely got it at Target though, I remember getting it at Target, but this sounds really, really good on vinyl. I have my queen, Miss Selena Gomez Rare on vinyl, and this one is just the black, it's just the standard. I think I found this at Barnes & Noble, and I love it. Like, look at Rare. You know what? I'm going to say it. I think Selena Gomez as an artist is so underrated. Like right after Taylor, she is my favorite. Like Taylor is, 
you guys know, <laughs> Taylor Swift is my absolute favorite artist, my everything, but like if I had to pick a second favorite artist, I would say Ed Sheeran and definitely Selena. I have loved Selena's music for years and years and years. Same with Ed, but Selena, I I am obsessed with Selena Gomez. Like I love her albums so, so much. Okay. And the next one I have is the original soundtrack for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. The vibes, when you put this on at Christmas time and you're decorating or, you know, maybe you're just, you have your Christmas lights on in your room. It's just the vibes. I have loved this vinyl so much and I believe I found this at, I want to say Barnes and Noble. This is dedicated by Carly Rae Jepsen, which is such an incredible album. I actually bought this off someone I met at the dedicated tour and we became friends and I bought this off of him. And so here it is. I love this album so much. My love for Carly Rae Jepsen definitely came from my best friend Bobby. Like she, I like of course knew who Carly Rae Jepsen was, but like when I started to like look into songs that maybe weren't her hits and I really investigated and did like a deep dive into her music, let me tell you, I became a huge fan. The next one I have is Miss Selena Gomez and the Scene. This is the When the Sun Goes Down album. And this one, I believe, yeah, that's a gorgeous vinyl. Oh my God. But this album too, like, oh, every single song, I'm just looking at these, I was gonna go like, when this song, but there is just something that just takes me back when I listen to this album, like when the sun goes down, that's when the thing starts moving, everybody up when the sun goes down, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. like I, I, I love this album so much and same with Stars Dance. Stars Dance is definitely my favorite Selena Gomez album, but this is a really, really close second to be honest. We have my girl, Miss Taylor Swift on debut. Now this is 98 out of 3,750 copies made, if you can see that. Um, this is a record store day exclusive this is the turquoise splattered vinyl and i did open this one like <laughs> like that is stunning i did open this one because at the time i did not have a standard debut copy but i found this one in a record store before it was in 2018 I did not even know record store day was happening I stumbled in there with my mom because we saw a lot of people coming in and out we're like oh what are they doing we walked in there and they were having record store day and I found the 1989 record store day and the pink splatter and the turquoise debut at the time I guess they had sold out of the fearless yellow but that is one of my ISOs for sure, but a treasure, okay? And I'll just go ahead and show you my 1989 record store date that I found this the same day. The price was $29.98, <laughs> but this one you can see is in mint condition. I never opened this one because I wanted to keep it in mint condition um, because I do have 1989, as you guys will see on standard. And I already had that before I bought this. Like I said, I opened the debut one because I wanted, I wanted debut on vinyl. So this one is 257 out of 3,750 and it's a pink splatter. And this is my favorite vinyl because 1989 just like means the world to me. And I cannot wait to have 1989 Taylor's version on vinyl. I am so excited. So this is Folklore. This is the one from Target. It is the red one. Then we have red, stolen version. And it looks like this inside. And it's just the black disc. 
she's in there I hate to like pull them out like if not necessary because I try and keep my vinyls like so perfect I have Evermore on vinyl now this one is the green one this is a stunning vinyl I will pull this out like oh my god like that is just stunning so I have Miss Evermore. I got this at my local record store. And then I have Josh Groban on Bridges. I found this at Barnes & Noble. It's a white vinyl. And it was 50% off of $21.99. And I have not listened to this yet. But one of my all-time favorite Josh Groban songs. My favorite Josh Groban song. It's called Granted. And it's number one on here. So... I definitely bought this. I didn't find this too long ago, I feel. Maybe, maybe I've had it for longer than I think, but I did love this. So I got it. Next, I have Olivia Newton-John, her hits on vinyl. This is a pink and blue color. I actually bought two of these. I got my dad one as a Christmas gift as well, last Christmas, but I did want one for my collection because it was buy one get one free last Black Friday. But I have not opened mine because I wanted to keep it mint for now. Um, and oh my God, I found this. I found this at a little shop in a town that my mom and I love to frequent in Virginia. And it was like this antique kind of mall, but they had like little crafts as well. This was my absolute aesthetic. I bought this for $8. I loved this. I thought it would be beautiful sitting out at Christmas time, but it's just like Christmas hymns and carols. But the cover looks like this, like pink Christmas stuff is just screaming to me. Um, it's the Robert Shaw Chorale and Robert Shaw was the conductor. It has like joy to the world um it came upon a midnight clear songs like that it was just calling my name because it was so beautiful and i wanted her in my collection my dad got me this one for christmas and it's big red machine how long do you think it's gonna last it has renegade by taylor swift on it and yeah i give him big credit for this because he went into the record store and said, I think my daughter has every Taylor Swift vinyl. Um, what is something that you could recommend? And they, they gave this to him um, and he was like, okay, I think that'll be perfect. So he got this for me for Christmas and it has Phoenix and that's a good song. I love Phoenix. It has 8.22 AM, Magnolia, June's River. I like I like Big Red Machine, and it's the opaque red. I have actually not listened to it on vinyl yet, but I'm very excited to. Okay, we have Leather <laughs> on vinyl. This is from Target. Oh, the sleeve wants to come out too, but it's blue on one side. Me trying not to end this side, the pink. The pink, are you kidding me? Like, that's just so pretty. I'm just trying to be careful. Then I have Titanic. I have not opened this one. This is the At The Movies Music on Vinyl. I got this at my local record store. It was $42. Um, it was the 21st, 21st anniversary edition of 10,000 copies on silver and black marble vinyl. It has an eight page booklet. It has a movie poster, a replica of the New York Times cover, but this is my all time favorite movie. So I definitely wanted to keep this mint. I see how many times I say the word mint in this video. It's a lot. The next one I have is the newest to my collection that is not Miss Taylor Swift. It is the Lemonade Yellow Subject to Change Vinyl by Kelsey Ballerini. I am so, so excited to open this one up and listen to it on vinyl. I am so sad because I actually missed when she dropped the EP rolling up the welcome mat on vinyl. Hopefully, maybe when it gets actually distributed, they'll send it to record stores because I will be running. But this will sound really really gorgeous on vinyl as well kelsey ballerini is such an incredible artist 
so then I have my prize possession from record store day from this last year this is folklore long pond studio sessions um, on vinyl I have not opened it yet have to be so honest with you because it is an exclusive so until I'm like yearning to listen to it on vinyl and like to the point where I'm like okay I'm, I'm taking off the wrapping I want to keep it mint <laughs> for as long as possible um, but I'm so excited to listen to that one I really feel like I should open I always have this fight with myself I'm like should I keep them bent or should I listen to them that's what they're meant for but I know how long I stood in that line so I'm like eh. Yeah, I'm trying to keep the willpower not to listen to it, but that one in particular because it's kind of like acoustic and all I feel like it would be Stunning on vinyl. So I feel like I should crack it open But I'm telling myself the little voice inside my head. is like itching to play it on vinyl But the other side of my head's being like Rachel you remember how long you stood in that line But the other side is saying Rachel. Do you know how long you stood in that line? Like you should definitely listen to it so this is the one from Target. This is Speak Now, Taylor's version. Oh my goodness. I love her. I love her so much. This is beautiful, guys. You need to see this disc. Look at that disc. This is the one that was sold at Target. That's just... The only one I'm missing is the Orchid edition. And so here we have Fearless Taylor's version. We love Taylor's version. This is a gold vinyl. She's stunning as well. I got this at my local record store. I believe. No, I, I think I got this one at Target too. These. <laughs> um... I love Midnights by Taylor Swift, okay? Just that, that is what you're gonna gather here. I love Midnights by Taylor Swift so much that I have one, two, three, four, five, five in a row to show you that are Midnights. This one is, which one is this one? I believe this is the Moonstone. We're gonna find out together. Some guy said my aura's Moonstone. Where is it? Wait, actually, where's the disc? Wait, this is the signed one. Oh, I'm such a dumb. <laughs> this is the signed Moonstone edition, so I was right. That's why it's not in this side. I'm trying here, I swear. Look at that. Oh my god, like it's just so beautiful. Um, I have the hiccups. But yeah. So I have the Moonstone signed, and I do keep the autograph in there for now until. This one is the Blood Moon edition. This one, oh my god. I have to show you all these discs because they're just so freaking pretty. Okay, they're only on the side. This one is stunning. I was collecting these like infinity stones the weekend uh, Midnight's was coming out. Like, look at that. Like, are you kidding? That's just gorgeous, okay? Album six, track eight by Taylor Swift, if you will. Um, So this is, this is funny. So I ordered the Love Potion vinyl edition off her website for Midnight's and it never showed up. So I don't have that one to show you, unfortunately, but I do have Mahogany. This one is beautiful. This was my favorite cover, like of the alternate covers. Um, this one just gives me like the vibes. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, Taylor Swift, um, your first week sales were definitely helped by my purchases because I bought every single CD 
in every color because they had like the CDs to go with it. And then I bought all the vinyls. Um, yeah, Taylor Swift was getting my coins. This is the Jade Green edition. This was, I feel like, the fan favorite. And I'm gonna show you. And I see why, like, look at that. It's just, I love these colors of these vinyls for Midnight's because it just gives the retro colors, if that makes sense. It's like kind of vintage, it's just so beautiful. I'm trying so carefully to put these in right. Oh, okay. But I'm obsessed with Midnight's, okay. This is the, <laughs> this is the lavender one from Target. And if you know me, my favorite color is lavender. So I was stoked when I heard that they were releasing a lavender one. Oh my God. Like, are you kidding? That's just, that's just beautiful. Okay. There's just no other way to put it, but like, that's stunning. So I have Moonstone, Mahogany, Blood Moon, Jade Green, and the Lavender. The only one that I'm missing is the Love Potion one for the Midnights. This is Speak Now, stolen version. This is just standard one. It's black disc and this sounds stunning on vinyl. Look at that. Look at all their little hands. I That's just like one of my favorite things Taylor's ever done is like having her and her band put all, all the letters for Speak Now and spelling it out for the disc. That just touches my heart. Every time I think about it, I just like it. Okay, so the next vinyl I have is the soft disc, I believe is what they call it. It's the Ed Sheeran Eyes Closed, and it's literally like floppy, but it plays Eyes Closed by Ed Sheeran, and I got this at a listening party as a gift for going to the listening party at my local record store, so that's really cool. Then I got Speak Now Taylor's version, Violet. Now I was, I had the Orchid one on hold, but they told me that the Violet one was going to be more difficult and they would not get it back in stock. So I had the Violet in my possession instead of the Orchid. But I, I really do hope one day to go back and get the Orchid, so, but this one's really pretty. It's like a very deep violet color. And yeah, I haven't opened it because I did open the other one. So then I have Miss Folklore. This is the hide and seek edition. Look at it. It's like periwinkle blue. It's so gorge. This is Folklore, just the beige one, I believe. Is it beige? But it's the standard cover. Where is, I believe, I really do think that this is the tan one. Where's the, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's really pretty. This came into my local record store and I was like, you can never have too many Taylor vinyls, so I went and bought it. So, because I loved the standard cover of Folklore, and I definitely, I love the standard cover of Folklore, and so I definitely wanted it on vinyl. And when I play Folklore, that's the one I use. I have 1989, the standard edition. This one is just the black. And this was the one that I had, but I still wanted the Record Store Day one. Um, and so I played this one instead of the pink exclusive Record Store Day one. I have the two-sided disc Christmas Tree Farm vinyl from Taylor's store. One side plays Christmas Tree Farm and then the other side plays Christmas Tree Farm from the I Heart Jingle Ball, which I was at. So that makes it all the more special. That's from Taylor's site. I have red Taylor's version. This is heavy. It has a lot of discs and I got this from Target and it's just, it's just black disc. Then I have some seven inch. I have the me from the Billboard Music Awards. 
I have me. It's just the standard. It's so little, you guys. Like, you guys need to see this. Look at that. Then I have... <laughs> I've never opened this. It's seven inch of the Lakes Record Store Day. And then I have Cardigan. <sighs> I have the Cardigan plus the um, Songwriting Voice Memo. That was off Taylor's site. And then I have, this was a gift from my friend Chris. And it it's the Record Store Day 2021 of gasoline by taylor swift on seven inch and i've kept it mint because i cherish it so much so that's what i have i have folklore yes this is folklore i have evermore on red this one is from target you can see it in there it's red this one was the target edition i have reputation yeah this is the picture disc. This was a gift for me from Christmases ago. This was Christmas, what, 2018, I believe? Yeah. Look at that. It's so pretty. Then I have Fearless Platinum Edition. This one is just on black vinyl. I found this randomly. I was so excited. I found this randomly one time at Barnes and Noble and this was pretty hard to find at that point and I remember finding it and I was stoked because I completed my Taylor album collection at the time. Then I have Taylor Swift, just the standard edition, it's just the black disc. My local record store got in the debut album and it was on black disc and so I decided that I found this after. Um, I had purchased the record store day one, so I had already opened that one, but I wanted to preserve that one as much as possible and not play it, so I did go and get this from my local record store. That was like, what, a year ago? And last but not very least, I have Harry Styles, Harry's House, the limited edition um, exclusive translucent yellow vinyl, and this is from Target. Have not listened to it on vinyl yet, but this is such an incredible album. So like I said, I absolutely love having my favorite albums on vinyl. There's something so nostalgic and so beautiful. Like even if it's just for collection purposes, I love having it. It's like, okay, this is one of my favorite albums. Like I want it to be part of my collection. So that is what I have so far and I'll do this again next year. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, one that I definitely will have by next year is 1989 Taylor's version and I cannot wait to have that on vinyl like oh my god I love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate you guys watching my videos and being interested in my collections and yeah tell me what your favorite vinyl is that you have down below and tell me one that you're like on the hunt for one vinyl that I am on like the prowl for constantly but the resell right now is so high that I'm not able to get my hands on it is the lover live from Paris vinyl I missed that when it dropped and it's the heart shaped one. It's just gorgeous and I would love, love, love to have that. I would also love to have the yellow record store day um, splatter from 2018 for Fearless and I would love to have the orange reputation one that was in FYE exclusive. So those are three I'd love to have, but we'll see if I ever get my hands on them. You'll find out when I find out. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I appreciate you. And I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, you in the next one. Bye, guys.